G'day, how's it going? Eve Online series number 40. And we are doing the Kiting Kestrel. And uh, excuse my voice, I've got a bit of a cold at the moment, been a bit blocked up. But I really wanted to get this video out, so here we go. Uh, no one's really expecting a Kiting Kestrel, it was pretty good fun. Um, if you're enjoying the content, please like, comment, and subscribe. It's very, very much appreciated. And, uh, yeah. Let's get into the video. Alright, let's check out the, uh, kiting kestrel fit. And it worked out quite well, I think. Uh, better than I expected, anyway. Um, so, let's quickly go over it. Uh, light missile launchers. I've currently got Scourge uh, in there at the moment. Comes to 101.4 DPS, so that's not great, but you know, being a Kaido, it's okay, I guess. Pretty fast. 3137 micro warp drive. And then overheated. 4470. A uh, small shield extender and a warp disruptor 2. A uh, cap booster uh, with just a cap booster 200s in there. And um, yeah, you do, you definitely need the cap booster to keep it going. Blister control 2, nano, auxiliary thruster, and a small bay loading accelerator 2. So there we go, that's the fit. And uh, yeah, let's get into some fights. Alrighty, so in this first fight, uh, I was mucking around on a gate and I see a Dramule that was suspect flagged and a Daredevil friendly one. I thought, oh, I can take this fight, no worries. Uh, I've got help. So I start shooting him and aggressing him and I don't know what happens, he like panics or I assume that he's going to jump the gate at some stage here because he's not shooting back. And uh, the other friendly is not doing anything, but he does aggress after a while. And I don't know whether it was his ult or they were together or something because the other uh, militia guy doesn't do anything. And I was always looking in local to see if he's going to say, oh, here's my mate, here's my ult, don't shoot, don't shoot, sort of thing. But none of that happened so I kept shooting and um, I don't know this Dramule like is definitely faster than me so he could have de-aggressed and just uh, burnt off and walked away so I think I, I caught him in maybe a bit of a panic or something and got a little bit lucky but yeah he's um Going down, I get uh, sensor damp by the rats. But uh, yeah, he's nearly down, and he hasn't really hit me all that much. Interesting fight, good fight, mate. Um, yeah. Alrighty, so in this fight, I'm up against Mr. Chad Flame in his. Tristan and I'm pretty sure that he was expecting a dual web, you know, your typical dual web scram card in Kestrel because he turns out he had his blasters with null already preloaded and a newt. So I think I caught him off guard quite a lot and he was considering his options and he took a while to get his drones out and get them onto me. Uh, by that time I've already done significant damage to him. I think uh, if he put his drones out straight away and put them onto me, he probably would have forced me off. I think the fight would have been a lot closer. Because uh, I don't have a huge amount of tank. But anyway, he's nearly down. So uh, yeah, Kiting Kestrel. A surprise attack. Good fight, mate. Alright, so this next fight I'm up against a Fed Comet. Yeah, it was a pretty tough fight. 
Uh, but I think I've, again, once again, I've caught him off guard. Um, he's a blaster web scram sort of setup. He does have a micro warp drive though. But uh, he hasn't even put his drones out to uh, put some, you know, damage pressure on me. He's completely focused on trying to catch me or trying to get away. So my uh, missiles are hitting him, and he's not putting any damage on me at all. And um, yeah, as long as I don't mismanage anything. Uh, should be able to secure the kill. He does manage to slingshot his way away from me here, and he's got an opportunity to um, get away. Uh, maybe he misclicked or just distracted somehow. Because I do manage to um, catch up to him and reacquire a point on him. So, yeah, I don't know what happened to there uh, on his behalf, but yeah. Good fight. Alrighty, so in this fight I'm against a hook bill. Again, another really tough fight. And he immediately, I think, recognises that, you know, I'm a kiting Kestrel. And he's swapped over to his javelin missiles. Straight away, is what he's done. I'm applying a bit of damage to him, and while he's uh, swapping ammo, which is what I'm assuming, getting a small head start, but now that he's hitting me, uh, he's hitting me pretty damn hard. So, this is a good example of where, you know, I'm at range, I'm kiting him, so I've got the opportunity to get away, and I take it, because uh, it's it would seem pretty obvious I was going to blow up and die. Good fight. Alrighty, so in this next fight, uh, I've been roaming around for a while, I was pretty bored, so I decided to jump in on a Tristan, which is not ideal. Uh, just sort of banking on the fact that he's probably going to be a Cardi Tristan, well, I was hoping that he would be, and he is. So that's lucky for me, it allows me to establish a nice orbit. Uh, start applying some damage, but uh, I think it turns out that this guy is a uh, either an alt or a new bro, so he's only got like hob ones and uh, you know T1 sort of setup. So I definitely have um, the DPS advantage, seeing he's only got the hob ones on me. Anything I think he probably could have done is like degress and warp away. Might have been a little bit faster than what I am. Yeah. I kind of feel bad killing him. A has run out of Good fight, mate. Alrighty, so in this next fight I come into a boon. There's a bunch of war targets in here. And, um... They know me fairly well, they watch the channel, they know I'm all about the uh, 1v1 solo PvP fights. And I walked to an, the iHub and challenged one of them, uh, Fenris, to a 1v1, which he accepts, uh, which is pretty nice of him because Kestrel versus a Natron is a bit of a mismatch, I think. Even if it's a dual web Kestrel, like control range. So it's a pretty sort of brave fight to take. He must have been as bored as I was. You see Mr. Terrified Killer comes in to try and whore in on the fight. But uh, Fenris tells him that's it's a 1v1, which is good of him. And to his credit, he leaves, which is uh, awesome. i got to admit that um, a lot of the uh, Gal Mill guys are pretty good that way. They honour their 1v1s against me, so very much appreciated. Anyway, um, being a kiting fit, I've got uh, this poor Atron where I, where I want him. 
So as long as I manage all my mods correctly, uh, it's a pretty easy fight. It's just like you get your blasters with your antimatter in, web scram, afterburner sort of setup. Pretty tough situation for the little Atron to be in. He's tanking pretty well. My damage is yeah, really bad. Quite low, so it's gonna take a little while to kill him. I imagine that once his uh, ancillary armor wrapper runs out, that uh, his tank won't hold as well. There we go, it looks like it's run out now. A module has run out of charges. Another volley and he's into structure. And I should turn the heat off on my point there. Be nice. And there we go. Boom. Good fight, Fenris. Cheers, mate. Alrighty, so I'm up against a hook bill, and it's uh, Mr. Paul O'Rune, one of the poor pirates that uh, operates around the area. And um, I'm guessing that he's recognised that I'm a Kaidi Kestrel and he's swapping over to his Javelin ammo, which allows me to get a bit of a, a head start in the uh, DPS race. So I'm getting some good hits in, unopposed. But uh, once the uh, 10 seconds is up and he's reloaded into Javelin, he's going to start hitting me and he's hitting pretty bloody hard. So, I've got a head start, but uh, it's going to be close. And it's around this point where I should have recognised that, okay, I'm probably not going to win this DPS race and I should look to bail, but I'm a little bit greedy and I want to get a, you know, I want to get a put bill kill. But uh, he, he gets me. Good fight. So there you go, that is the uh, kiting kestrel and it turned out to be much more effective than uh, I thought it was going to be. Um, I just, I don't think people were really expecting it to be honest. Uh, and it was, yeah man, it was pretty good fun to fly. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and all of the fights. And uh, as always, if you enjoyed it, please like, comment and subscribe, it's very much appreciated. And. Uh, Yibbity yibbity, that's all folks. Catch you in the next video.